Hello, I'm Graham Zimmerman, Automation Product Manager at Airline Hydraulics, and today I have Justin Shade from Phoenix Contact USA, who's the wireless specialist from headquarters. In our series today, Justin Shade will be walking through the configuration of the FLWLAN series of radios from Phoenix Contact. Airline Hydraulics is an automation elite distributor for Phoenix Contact, meaning we specify, stock, and technically support all of the automation products from Phoenix Contact. That includes networking, IO, safety, and control products. If you like these configuration videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content in upcoming weeks. Let's take a look at the FLWN product portfolio from Phoenix Contact. The FLWN product portfolio is an industrial rated Wi-Fi device. When you look at Wi-Fi in industrial applications, it's used for multiple purposes. An access point function for mobile worker, where you want to connect tablets, notebooks, phones to a control cabinet or device. Or if you have existing control cabinets and devices in your shop, uh, giving them network accessibility to an existing infrastructure. So what we provide at Phoenix Contact is multiple mounting options for your application to provide flexibility uh, in your application. So one portfolio we have is our FLWLAN 1101 and 2101 series. This series is an IP rated device that provides an all-in-one solution where the radio and the antennas are built into an IP rated housing. Um, the 1000 series has a IP54 mounting housing. The 2000 series has up to an IP68 uh, IP rating depending on your control cabinet rating. Um, what's really great about this again is that everything is built in, it's one part number and it mounts through your control panel. So this this white plate was your control panel, uh, mounts directly to your control cabinet and it has a coupling nut on the other side that, that fastens it to your control cabinet. Then on the inside of this nut you have your power and data. So again this keeps it outside your control cabinet. Uh, if you're tight on space for DIN rails uh, you don't have to have any space in your DIN rail, it mounts on the top and also reduces the amount of punches you have in your control cabinet. With any wireless device, you need to bring antennas outside the control cabinet to get line of sight. This device has the antennas and the radio built in, so it's one punch for everything. In early August 2021, we're going to be releasing a new variant of this, this portfolio, which is going to be our 1011 and 2011 series. And this is the same functionality and feature set as our 1101 and 2101, but it's going to be an IP20 rated version that is panel mounted via these two holes, or optionally a DIN rail mount connector that you can get that will mount on the bottom of it to create a narrow mounted DIN rail uh, connection. So again, this product is the exact same features and functionality, just gives you the flexibility of mounting it on a control panel or on a DIN rail. Um, it also gives external antenna options as well. That way you can mount these antennas uh, remotely. So if you need to extend your range of your application or maybe uh, on top of your control cabinet isn't where you want to mount your antennas, you want to run an antenna cable somewhere remote, it uh, gives you the, the flexibility of providing uh, remotely mounted antennas. So again, with the product portfolio we have today, we're going to have an IP rated with all-in-one antennas and radio. Uh, tomorrow we'll have an IP20 version that has a panel mount option, a DIN rail mount option with external antennas as well.